Hi, I'm Mike, one of the Ingroup in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for March 3rd, 2023. So the biggest new arrival video I think I've had in months and months, many months, it's been a while. This is all new arrivals, not restocks, but new arrivals. I've got an analog productions restock. I'm also gonna show you guys uh, some stuff I'm putting on the gold membership uh, program on the uh, website this week. I was sporadically putting things on the website throughout the week. We've now decided to do them all as drops. So at 11 o'clock Arizona time, we put, you know, this is kind of a sample. I'll show you guys all this stuff. Towns Van Zandt, Original Smiths, Louder Than Bombs. I'll show you that stuff in a minute. Uh, but I got a chunk of stuff, 11 o'clock, it's gonna go on the website. Uh, I've talked about the VIP membership before. If you buy a lot of stuff from us in general, or if you buy a lot of records in general, you, then you decide to buy them from us. Uh, you will get 10% off of your entire online order for in-stock records through that program. And I also have a small, it's not huge, but a small curated section of pre-owned vinyl that I list every week. So it's worth, if, again, if you're buying a lot of records from us, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, or if you want to buy a lot of records from us, it's, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, so a lot of pre-orders this week. I'm starting to put up a lot of mobile fidelity pre-orders. I'm getting word that some stuff is coming down relatively soon through the pipeline. The first one, we already know it's on its way. I'm gonna have it in my possession next week and I'll start shipping it out. That is Paul Simon's. There goes the Ryman Paul Simon. I'll have it next week. I'm thinking next week I'll get it shipped out. Uh, the SACD is on the website as a pre-order but it's to be announced. I don't have a date on that as of yet. A title that I thought was recalled uh, as bad information put out there online but uh, that is warren zevon's excitable boy that is a uh, 45 rpm i thought bill uh whether still bill was the next mobile fidelity standard release that was going to be issued that is not the case excitable boy is the next standard mobile fidelity title that's going to be released i've got it on the website now for pre-order after that it should be still bill but uh, yeah, excitable boy, I'm excited for it. That's, I love Warren Zevon and that of course is probably it. I would imagine that's pretty universally accepted as his best album. But if it's not, it's at least my favorite album of his. So, plugging along today and I heard they're relaunching the OJC Jazz Series. OJC, Milestone, Prestige, Contemporary, uh, Riverside, fantastic conglomerate of labels. Pablo, there's a few more in there, but at the very least, it's the second, third, and fourth best jazz catalog in existence is on uh, Kraft OJC Records. Uh, they are reissuing the OJCs. It's around 850 titles that are catalog titles that they could pull from. Don't think they're gonna do 850, not anytime soon. Uh, last time they did 850 or 1,000 OJCs. It took them about 15 years. So theoretically they could do it, but it might take a while. But they announced they're bringing them back. And when I thought to myself, they're bringing them back, they're in print. I've got brand new OJCs over there. Uh, they're relaunching it. They're still calling it OJCs, but unlike the original OJCs, or the, a lot of the ones that are in print, except for the uh, Sonny Rollins Saxophone Colossus and Tenor Madness, which are both analog, this is being relaunched as an all analog cut by Kevin Gray from the original master tape and put in a nice heavy tip on jacket. So not a budget reissue per se because it's the same price as a tone poet. So they're reissuing it as a premium competitor to tone poet, the Verve series stuff. Uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm a little confused on the marketing angle of this, but yeah. So we're gonna have the premium OJCs in print for a little while coming up soon. And we're gonna have like the standard OJCs. I'm guessing those are gonna get replaced with the good all analog ones. I'm excited, Cut by Kevin Gray. The first title is Miles Davis Workin'. That comes out April 28th. Then Thelonious Monk and Coltrane comes out May 26th. All analog, Cut by Kevin Gray. These are gonna be wildly successful. Uh, I kind of, thought that Analog Productions would be doing a lot of these. That's kind of what I had assumed. I think a lot of people did. But it looks like this is going to be something that is done by Kraft themselves and reissued. Uh, it's kind of nice because it's a lot easier for worldwide distribution under those circumstances. So yeah. And I would say out of everybody remastering 
records, jazz records specifically, the stuff that Kevin does is my favorite. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that he's doing the Blue Note stuff, which is some of the most meticulously recorded music ever of all time. Uh, that kind of helps, but I really dig his cuts. In circumstances where he has done titles versus other mastering engineers, I generally have preferred the Kevin Gray stuff. Okay, not that the other stuff is bad. It's slight mastering choices that I kind of gravitate towards. So two copies of, uh, yeah, the two OJCs they've announced so far. Let's see, I've started putting a lot of Joan, a lot of uh, Mobile Fidelity pre-orders out. I've got some Joni Mitchell One Steps on the website for pre-order and also the Miles Davis uh, Bitches Brew One Step and I'm trying to think of what the other one is, uh, Sketches of Spain. Full 33 RPM one step. So those are on the website right now for pre-order. But yeah, new arrivals, restocks, and then I will show you guys the gold, uh, the gold member records that are going on on Monday. Let's start with the CDs. This is an indie exclusive of Dirks Bentley's Gravel and Gold, newest album. Indie exclusive is autographed. The only CDs that aren't audiophile CDs, or you know, I say CDs that I carry, are the indie exclusives that are autographed. So yeah, you're getting an autographed CD. It's 12 bucks. It's a pretty good deal, being the fact that it's autographed. But yeah. And I got a restock of the Analog Productions SACD of Dark Side of the Moon. Haven't had it in a little while. Got a restock of it. Kind of went with the other big shipment of Analog Productions stuff. Okay. One of my favorite times of the month. It's New Tone Poet time. Kicking it off for 2023. I guess the last two titles were technically 2023, but these were the first two titles that were on the 2023 announcement. And that is the remarkable Carmel Jones, originally on World Pacific, yeah, uh, Pacific Jazz. Originally on Pacific Jazz, cut by uh, Kevin Gray with Joe Harley, Blue Note Tone Poet, all analog, tip on jacket. Absolutely love the Tone Poets. When all is said and done, this will probably go down as the greatest reissue campaign of all time, just because of the titles, the sonics, the quality, it's, it's killer. Music Matters has always been my favorite just because musically what they did, they revolutionized the way modern reissues were done, but man, they're killing it with these stone poets. They are awesome. And then Andrew Hill's Dance With Death. This is the gatefold, whereas uh, the Carmel Jones is a standard, a standard jacket. Part of the Analog Productions restock, I got Lady in Satin, Billie Holiday, 45 RPM, cut by Bernie Grunman, I believe, from the original classic metalwork, classic records metalwork. Haven't had a chance to listen to this. I just got it for the first time, so I will have it uh, spinning on my turntable probably in the morning. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to have to be spinning this weekend. I kind of can already see where I'm going with this weekend's uh, musical choices. Uh, it's a lot of jazz. It's two-tone poets. It is uh, the Billie Holiday. And it is the box set of Eddie Lockjaw Davis with Shirley Scott cooking with Jaws and the Queen. This is a 4LP box set, all analog, cut by Bernie Grunman. Yeah, all analog, cut by Bernie Grunman. So it's essentially... Uh, Cookbook Volume 1, 2, 3, and then, uh, let's see, Smoking with Shirley Scott. So, kind of nice, you know, looks like nice tip-on jackets in there. Looking forward to this. This should be good. I'm telling you, greatest, the more time goes on, this is like if you are a jazz lover in an audio file, there is absolutely no better time than now to be getting records. They're coming out like hot and heavy. No more waiting six months to a year for a new audio file release. Every week, look, we got tons of choices in just one week's time. Okay, some new arrivals. This is a indie color, ex colored exclusive of Steve Miller Band's Italian X-rays. I'm not sure what the color variation is on that though. We've got Twisted, Mutant. Limited edition, anniversary edition. It's on a, it's got a foil cover. I don't know how well that shows up on camera. Foil cover, gold hype sticker. We've got the Subhumans from the Cradle. This is a deep purple indie exclusive. 
I like the big indie exclusive hype sticker. I wish they'd do that a little bit more with indie exclusives. Let people know who are shopping, you know, browsing an aisle that they're indie exclusives. Jorah Smith, Lost and Found. We've also got Daisy Jones and the Six, Aurora. What is this? Prime Video. Hmm. Looks like it's possibly, oh, this is, uh... yeah, I know what this is. I'm pretty sure this is that soundtrack. This is the soundtrack to the, it's like a little mini series about a spoof band, but I think the band kind of resembles early Fleetwood Mac. I wonder if this is out, because I was looking forward to watching this. That might be something I'll be doing tonight. Daisy Jones and the Six. I'm almost positive that's what it is. I saw the preview. It looked pretty good. And that's about right. Yeah, we got Quasi Stevie here. Maybe Lindsay over here. Christine McVie. Maybe they threw the random third guy, right? Because we would have had McVie and Fleetwood as the two. Yeah, maybe the extra guy is just there to uh, not get sued. I'm not sure. But I heard it's supposed to resemble... Fleetwood Mac, right around the Lindsey Buckingham, Stevie Nicks uh, era. But that was just from the preview. John Hartf Hartford. I actually listened to an original of this, uh, Aeroplane, the other day. This is a bone of vinyl pressing limited to a thousand copies. One came in a collection. I'm like, I hadn't heard this in a while. I threw it on. Okay, so this next one I'm only showing you guys to tell you what's going on. And that is De La Soul's Three Feet High and Rising. It comes in three versions. It comes in yellow, it comes in magenta, and it comes in black. This is a new arrival for the week and I don't have any. Matter of fact, not only do I not have any, but this was extremely heavily allocated. So there are going to be uh, emails sent out later in the week. I very, very seldomly do it, but uh, there wasn't enough to cover pre-orders on this. A kind of conflux of things happen here, kind of a shitstorm, if you will, and that is a record that was extremely desirable, very expensive to get an original of, and never really reissued other than the Vinyl Me Please because of some licensing clearance issues. Okay, so it was announced, and then the guy dies. So then it really blew up, and everybody really, like, doubled down on wanting it. I'm pretty positive it's going to get repressed. So I'll give everybody who doesn't get a shipment notification on this the ability to hold their pre-order until the next round or a refund. I apologize on this. I got cut to about 40%. So yeah, about 30% of those, you know, 40% are gonna be mailed, 30% are gonna be canceled. And I would say the other 20% would have been stock for the store. But yeah, this week, De La Soul, three feet high and rising. I don't think we're gonna have this issue with the rest of the catalog, uh, but this title, that's what happened. Aha, we've got a hunting high and low, the 6LP Super Deluxe box set. What the hell could they possibly put on 6LPs? So we've got the album, hunting high and low. I don't know what that is. It looks like we got a demo, alternative mixes, singles, extended versions, and B-sides. Oh man, demos, demos. This is just, if you are an Aha Uber fan, this is the box set for you, because this has got to be everything they had sitting in the can for the uh, hunting high and low sessions. Finally got back, it came out as a new release, but I'm pretty sure this is just the uh, reissue from Clouds Hill of uh, the Mars Volta Francis the Mute. But I am seeing this a lot more lately to where they actually talk about things as a new arrival, but really it's the same item. They're resoliciting it to stores with a higher price. And that's kind of how they're getting around price increases. This is billed though as the exclusive Cloud Hill edition, made in Germany, remastered for black vinyl. <laughs> remastered for black vinyl. I've never heard that terminology used. What do you do? You tell them, hey, Kevin, uh, master for black vinyl, please, and then do it again for purple. Like, what the hell is that? Who's writing their hype stickers over there? All right. El Sandio de Finger Records. El Sandio de Finger Records. 
Yeah, R&B and Latin grooves. This is on the Acid Jazz label, which almost everything on the La Acid Jazz label is really fantastic. So I will give this a listen to, and it is probably quite good, but I'm not familiar with it. What is this, a color variation? Okay, so that was uh, Daisy Jones and the Six. That was the black vinyl version. This is the exclusive translucent blue vinyl version. I hope I just didn't rattle all that information off about that show and that's not this. But if that's the case, I recommend that show. <laughs> just in case that has nothing to do with Jay -Z, Daisy Jones and the Six. Yeah. Slade, nobody's fool. This is, contains transparent clear and red splatter, splatter variant. We've got Genesis. This is an official release, not a boot, of uh, the BBC broadcast. 24 track, three LP set. Let's see. This looks like this could be uh, pretty good. Well done. Oh man, exhibit, man versus machine. They should have did like a pimp version, you know what I mean? Like a pimp my LP version, kind of like my, maybe I should offer the exclusive pimp my LP version, like my Alan Parsons, pimp, pimp my eye in the sky. Limited to only 299, sold out long ago. Okay, Nas, King's Disease 2, red, orange, Red and orange vinyl, two LP set. I know very little about hip hop. I kind of assumed Nas was actually dead. Feel free to roast me in the comments. Uh, and I felt they were just putting out these uh, posthumous albums. I'm beginning to think this guy is still alive making records because there's a lot of Nas records coming through in the past couple of years. Red Light King in our blood. Limited gold vinyl. It actually says limited to a thousand units as part of the barcode. That's interesting. You don't really see that very much. We've got, I'm assuming a Friday music of the Doobie Brothers Trouble Street. Yeah, Friday music. The Doobies. Bunch of Beth Hart reissues. I'll try to click through them. This is 37 days, including three special bonus tracks. Transparent red double LP. We've got My California, transparent red vinyl. We've got, I think there's some more in here, but let me see, what is this? Macklemore, Ben. Includes chant. All right. We've got two short, Born to Mac. This is a certified classic, according to this hype sticker, but this is great early hip hop. This is actually, when I was really, really young, maybe around nine, 10, 11, this is what I would listen to. This is what my friends listened to. It wasn't until I met a kid in elementary school and he brought me uh, a Doors live in concert CD. He's like, you gotta listen to this. And it was like, <laughs> it was unbelievable. My mind was blown and I, Almost never listen to this kind of stuff again. But yeah, this is a limited color of vinyl version. 35th anniversary. Don't know what a color it is. It should be green. Green Onions. Uh, Booker T and the MG. Booker T and the MGs. This is actually done by Bernie Grunman. I listened to this. Uh, I listened to this in the store the other day. This was a really good sounding record. I didn't compare it against anything, but on its own, this was exceptionally good sounding. Cut by Bernie Grunman. This is a green vinyl variant with a tip on jacket. Really well done. Deep Purple. This is Now What? Strictly Limited Transparent Vinyl 2LP. The album that put Deep Purple back on top of the chart all over the world. This is on Ear Music. I think we got some restocks of some of the concerts that I've been showing you guys the last couple of weeks. They were limited to 3,000. Quite a few people emailed me on them, but check the website if you're still interested in those. Subhumans, The Day the Country Died. This is the indie exclusive deep purple vinyl variant. 
Really cool. Alice Cooper, alive from the AstroTurf. It's been done a couple of different ways. If you don't have it, though, this is pretty much a reunion show. This is with the uh, Michael Bruce, Neil Smith, and uh, Dennis Dunaway uh, and Alice. They re did a reunion show for Record Store Day in Texas. Uh, it was actually reissued or issued in the past as a Record Store Day single, a Record Store Day foil cover. Uh, and then it's been reissued a couple more times. And now we've got maybe this is the fourth or fifth time it's being done. But this is on a special color variation. It actually includes a DVD of the event. And it's limited to 5,000, made in Germany, live at the AstroTurf. AstroTurf. Alice Cooper lives like 10 minutes from here. Come on, Alice. Let's get the reunion show at the Ingroove. That'd be awesome. Uh, seen Alice quite a few times up close, but I've actually had the other guys met him multiple times. Uh, Dennis has been in the store. Uh, pretty sure Michael and Neil, I think all three of them actually have been in the store except for Alice. Really great guys and the stories are just fantastic. Subhumans, world, worlds apart. This is a deep purple indie exclusive. I don't really know why all these indie exclusives are deep purple. It's kind of like a theme at this point, though. We've got the Electric Wizard. Dope Throne on Rise Above Records. It's got a... I'm guessing it's a color variant of some kind. Check the website because it's got a barcode over the barcode. And, you know, Electric Wizard is all about color variations. Keep you guys perplexed on what, uh, what version you have when you're plugging it into Discogs. The Stranglers, Feline, this is the 40th anniversary edition. Let's see, 2LP on red, transparent, marble vinyl featuring bonus tracks and a rarities. Some more Beth Hart. Beth Hart, oh, on purple vinyl this time though. War in my world. Yeah, war in my mind, excuse me. Hard to read. This is a purple 2LP a reissue. This is cool. This is a good record. Great record. Don Cherry, here and now. First U.S. LP reissue. Uh, funk jazz meets world music on this 1977 masterpiece. Not an easy record to find. Tony Williams, great record. Black vinyl variation. This is done by Real Gone Music. This is an indie store exclusive of Denzel Curry, Zoo. This is red and green speckled vinyl. Indie store exclusive. Samara Joy, Linger a While. This is on Verve. Samara Joy is the next, a new gold standard for jazz vocalists. I'll give this a listen to, man. I really am trying to, I, I, being that I don't really stream too much and I don't listen to CDs, it really takes them putting it out on vinyl to get my attention of where I feel like I, I should listen to it. We've got J. Cole, Revenge of the Dreamers 3. We've got that Dirk Bentley record uh, on vinyl. I've got it again. I showed you the uh, autograph CD. The Police, Around the World, Restored and Expanded. This is an LP plus DVT, DVD, first time available on DVD. I think this is, yeah. I threw the DVD in here and essentially this is what, a reissue from Record Store Day? Maybe it's around, I think that, this might just be a, uh, Cold from the, I feel like the Record Store Day was a double. So it might be part of the Record Store Day show or the you know, release. Uh, Denzel Curry, we've got TA1300. This is a, not a good cover. Okay. Icky. Denzel Curry. Imperial, this is black, white, yellow smoke vinyl. Oh boy, we got dental implants on the back of this one. What the hell you want to put that on your cover for? Oh man. All right, 
what do we got? Lavender, Lavender Days by Camp. This is on Mom and Pop Records. This I think was a Record Store Day release a while back. It was wildly pop popular, but obviously it's going to be. I mean, this is Kenny Loggins at the movies. It's all of his classic movie tunes, right? I'm all right, Footloose, Danger Zone, uh, Nobody's Fool for the first time. It's like all the Kenny Loggins you want. Do you want, I mean, me personally, I don't want deep album cut Kenny Loggins records, but if, you know, album tracks, but if I'm going to listen to Kenny Loggins, it's going to be Danger Zone, you know what I mean? But uh, pressed on red vinyl. Starting to do some Atlantic 75th anniversary reissues. This is the classic Dusty in Memphis on clear vinyl, I believe. Clear vinyl. Roberta Flax, first time with Killing Me Softly, right? Killing Me Softly. No, that's not Killing Me Softly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's late. Roberta Flack, first take. This has the first time ever. That's right. Okay. Nick Cave, good son. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Link Ray, Rumble, 1956 to 1962. Kind of just a Link Ray comp. Rumble, gotta be the greatest instrumental rock track of all time. Five Finger Death Punch, this is a decade of destruction on crimson red vinyl. And then we have a cobalt blue variant as well. Enough is enough. Tweaked on green vinyl. We've got Kenny Rogers and the first edition. This is a Record Store Day Essential, so you can only buy this from Record Store Day authorized stores on real music. This is a double. It's kind of some titles that Record Store Day has been doing spread out throughout the year. UFO, Walk on Water. This is a 12 inch on clear vinyl, a seven inch on blue vinyl. We've got Overkill, Taking Over, the classic album, Half Speed Mastered, impressed on pink marble vinyl. Get your audio file, Overkill, Half Speed Mastered. And Under the Influence, also Half Speed Master. This is Haley Kakoyo. Kiyoko, sorry, includes For the Girls and Found My Friends. With the Atlantic 75, I like that holographic uh, sticker they're putting on records to celebrate their 75th. Another, uh, Great record, Aretha Franklin's Lady Soul. We've got The Blue Hour, Rex Life Raw. Okay. And this is, feels like a single, pressed on 180 gram black of vinyl. This looks really good. On Mr. Bongo, another label like Acid Jazz, a lot of their stuff, really good. Not a lot of duds in the catalog. Brazilian Folk Psych, MFB, at its finest. This highly sought after rarity from 1972 is the one and only album by the group. In Mogwai, a young team. 1970, 1997 debut album remastered on Double Sky Blue Vinyl. And it's an interesting cover. This is Tuv Low, Dirt Femi. Okay, I'm guessing barcode over the shrink. Probably a variation of some kind. Check the website. Okay, that is it for the actual new arrivals. Now let me show you some uh, restocks from Analog Productions. Then I'll talk a little bit more about the uh, gold membership stuff that's going on the website on Monday. Got a reissue, uh, restock, excuse me, of Eric Dolphy at 
the five spot, part of the uh, Prestige uh, Prestige reissue series, 25 monos, 25 stereos. Highly, highly recommend it. They were $200 before they reissued them, two to $300, two to $400, so very desirable. A comp that I've been playing in the store many, many times. It's fantastic. The wonderful sounds of quality record pressings, mostly all analog, cut from tape. There's a couple of digital tracks on here, but all but one or two tracks is analog. It sounds absolutely fantastic. It's worth it specifically just for the theme to shaft. The staple singers and the theme to shaft, unbelievable. The classical music on this is unbelievable, but it's like an audiophile sampler. It sounds absolutely killer though. Highly recommend it. Got a 33 restock of Duke Ellington's masterpieces. Uh, the legendary Sun House, I believe this was on my top 10 in print analog R&B and blues records list you should own years back. Great sounding record. Dr. John's Gumbo. 33 RPM. Oscar Peterson Trio, 45 RPM of West Side Story. Got some living stereo restocks. Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue, kind of one of those classical titles, classical, classical titles. Classic, classical titles that is great for uh, people starting out into the genre, just a bunch of music you've heard many, many times. Another uh, Verve reissue. Uh, 45 RPM, Johnny Hodges uh, with Billy Strayhorn and the orchestra. Part of that original Verve campaign. This is, he's been out a little while, but most of them went out of print. And it's like they're starting to put some of them back into print. Nat King Cole, just one of those things. I feel like these are on their way out. Uh, yeah, the Nat King Cole stuff. I looked at, man, one of the titles was on Discogs here recently because I was plugging some stuff in on my collection and one of them was going for like 300 bucks. So if they're not all on the way out, or if they're not on the way out, they pro they're probably on the way out, but who knows? Sometimes in between pricing, some of these records can shoot up that high. Uh, but I feel like they might be on the way out. I don't know, I'm guessing. Rob Wasserman's duets. Excuse me, there's two versions of this. This is a 33, there's also a 45 RPM. Leonard Skinner, 45 RPM of Pronounced Leonard Skinner, one of my favorite rock titles that Analog Productions has ever done. It was on my top 10 imprint rock records you should own, and it is currently on my top 100 imprint rock records you should own list. It's absolutely fantastic. Actually, this uh, Shaharzard is fantastic as well. This is the 45 RPM of it. This is unbelievable sounding. This is, uh, this will wow your woofers get the bass pushing through your living room. Muddy Waters, Folk Singer, 33 RPM version. Did a shootout video of this title. These are tops, the 33 and 45, the ones to own. Sarah McLaughlin's a Mirrorball. Elvis is back. These are all Analog Productions titles, all Analog Productions restocks. Joan Baez, Diamonds and Rust in the Bullring. This is the Dusty to own, although the other one that I showed you earlier is significantly less money. This is phenomenal sounding. Dusty in Memphis, 45 RPM, killer, analog, cut from the master tape. Great, great, great record. Her voice, truly magical on that. Perry Belafonte at Carnegie Hall. I got a restock of this, Roger Waters Amused to Death. This is the 33. Got the 45 as well, box set, got the 33, 45. Might have the SACD in stock as well. Unbelievable killer sounding record, a record you would never think in a million years you would want to really buy. But every time I've recommended this to somebody, they've been absolutely thrilled to death to own it. Tennessee Ernie Ford's Country Hits Feeling Blue. The sound quality on this is like, it's a 10. It's a, a perfect sounding record. It's unbelievable how good this record sounds. And his voice is just tailor made for analog. It just sounds magical, fantastic record. Always talk highly about it when I get it. Dave Brubeck, timeout, 45 RPM version. 
top 100 imprint, imprint analog list. It's one of my five demo records when I change out gear in my system. An absolute must have. The 33 RPM of Bill Evans at Montro comes in 45 as well, but this is the 33. Bartok Concerto 4 Orchestra. This is the 33. Tchaikovsky's Chai Chai Violin Concerto. 33 RPM. The living stereos are all great because they were recorded so well. Sarah McLaughlin's Solstice. Solace. This is a double. Mirror ball, I believe, is a triple that I showed you earlier. This is a double. More prestige restocks. This is Gil Evans and 10. Tony Bennett at Carnegie Hall. Recorded live. Julian Bream. We've got Stevie Ray Vaughan, The Sky is Crying. This is the 33 RPM. They did a run of these at 45 as well. Let's see. Shakostovich. This, I think I had a restock of this a couple weeks ago, but it sold out. But got it back again. Great title. Ry Cooter. A meeting by the river. This is on Water Lily Acoustics. From the day this came out, this was an audio file record. Very, very, very sonically, it's just a, it's a pleaser. It's a great sounding record. Okay, let me show you guys the stuff that I'm putting on. Again, so the gold member, it's 15 bucks a month. You get 10% off all in stock records, including these, on our website only. Uh, if you're buying a lot of stuff from us, it's worth it. But as a bonus, not as the main attraction, but as a bonus, I put 30 to 50 records, used like cherry-picked records, on the website every Monday at 11 a.m. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that's going Arizona time. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that's going up Monday at 11 a.m. this week. Really nice, really, really nice uh, Smiths, louder than bombs. U.S. first pressing. I've got a Pink Floyd. Half Speed Master, of which you were here. This is the kind of stuff I put up every week. The Ramones, end of the century. This is a US First Press promo. Come Monday, all the pricing, descriptions, grade, photographs, that stuff is all on the website. An original on Poppy, Towns Van Zant, Delta Mama Blues. Actually, uh, a copy that was in my collection for some time, quite clean. An EMI 100, 90s pressing, so not too common, of the Freddie Mercury album. This is still sealed. Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle. Mobile Fidelity, but it's sealed. And the Mobile Fidelity stuff from this era, sealed, is very collectible. This is a German copy. I believe it's German. No, uh, made in France. This is a French copy of The Joker. And uh, it is on green vinyl. UK copy of Maximum Darkness. Man, this is a UK first pressing. All the used records also have ultrasonically been cleaned. Joni Mitchell. Let's see, Wild Things Run Fast. This is a Quiex DJ promo copy, so it's on really quiet vinyl. Quiex was kind of like a JVC super vinyl back in the day. The Mobile Fidelity vinyl. Thelonious Monk. Some OJCs. I bought a lot of OJCs lately. Some of them were dupes. The duplicates were put in the store. So, uh, yeah, Monk. Original 80s OJC. Van Morrison. Astral Weeks. This is, oh, this is an original. Uh, Seven Arts label. Very difficult to find the original label of this. Really clean, I believe. Japanese pressing of Mountain, Nantucket Sleigh Ride. Nice with the Obi. White label promo, uh, Maria Muldar. It's just a hodgepodge of stuff, but cool stuff. Clean, white label promo, sealed records, some more OJC duplicates. 
We've got Barry Harris at the Jazz Workshop. I think actually this, that collection came with maybe a couple of those. Coleman Hawking Soul. This is cool. A sealed copy of Alex Cooper's Lace and Whiskey. Contains the hit, You and Me. With that hype sticker. Come on, that's nice. Great record. 50s record. Great early rock and roll. The big bopper himself, Chantilly Lace. Not an easy record to find. This one's actually in shrink. Got a sealed UK 70s copy of The Beatles' Help. Sealed because it's a UK import. Distributor shrink. Got a real nice copy of a Strictly Personal, Captain Beefheart and His Magic Band. This is an original on Blue Thumb. A couple more OJCs. There was about 20 extras I think I had in that collection. Someone on the website, someone in the store. I've got uh, the Dave Brubeck Octet. Really rare classical record. This is desirable. Uh, this is Del Monte. Let's see, Sonata and A major for violin and piano. I feel like this is one of those records that was on the Taz list a while back. Uh, this is the limited edition version. I think they comes with a certificate of authenticity. Maybe they did 1,000 or 2,000 copies of it. Came out in 1990. Came out of an audiophile classical collection I bought a little while back. Some more Towns Van Zandt, original poppies. High, low, and in between. And our mother, The Mountain. Both original poppies. This one came out of that Tucson collection. Real nice copy of uh, them. Them again. These are normally always absolutely trashed. Couple more OJCs. Let's see. This is summertime. Monto Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Pink Floyd, The Division Bell. This is the 25th anniversary edition, which like came and never came back. It was out of print like the day it was released and shot up in price. This is on blue vinyl. Got a Primus, Tales from the Punch Bowl. This came out a couple of years back as a limited color variant, went out of print, shot up in price. Same thing with Pork Soda. Color variant. What is that? Newly remastered from the analog tapes. And then just a random sealed Don Nix record in God We Trust. So kind of a hodgepodge of stuff going on the, uh, the website. Again, it's a small amount of stuff. It's curated. Don't expect thousands of week records to go up every week. But if you're buying from us, you get the discount. It's like a nice little added bonus. You know what I mean? All right, guys, check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time.